Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will see basically uh, the overview of Fabric platform. If you are new to Fabric, just see my first video wherein I have taught how basically you can create a free account without any organizational ID. And then from the top right corner, you need to select, uh, you know, uh, start the free trial and trial will be activated for 60 days. Okay. So let's quickly see like what, what new features, uh, you know, Microsoft have added in, you know, Power BI platform which is now called fabric so let's get started with it okay so as usual we can create multiple workspaces from here from the left section so you can just click uh, uh, you know on a workspace and you can create a new workspace right okay so once you have done that you can even select which kind of license this workspace shall have so i'm going with the trial one which is you know due to which i will get the fabric features for this particular workspace right my workspace is created so i have created a new workspace now let us see what what different features we have so if you go to the bottom left corner there are multiple things right you have power bi data factory data activator industry solutions data engineering data science data warehouse and real-time analytics so these are the different options available now let's say you are a data engineer so you will be most interested in data engineering right so once you click on data engineering you will see all the services which a data engineer require so lake house notebook right uh, so in lake house is where you can store your data notebook is where you can query your data right uh, using PySpark and different other languages like Azure SQL and then we have environment wherein you can create some environment variables you can define uh, you know spark jobs and then this is a part of ADF only data pipeline see in data engineering also you can see data pipeline and if you want to go uh, see separately in data factory you will see data pipeline again same thing right so uh, you know microsoft has uh, you know uh, categorized everything into different experiences like if you are a data engineer you can click here if you are a data scientist you can click here and so on like different experience right though some services will be similar in different different experience like uh, if i go to data science i can see ml model experiment notebook see here you can see notebook and again in data engineering you will see notebook right so they have just divided the things and you know obviously notebook is again new earlier you used to you know if we want to have a notebook kind of thing we either we used to uh, use data breaks or we used to use sign app analytics so now no need to use those things you can get it in fabric itself right all in one platform right everything you will see here so now let's start with it so data factory basically is where you can you know from different sources you can bring in the data and you can dump it into a single source so that you know you can analyze the data be, uh, you know based on a particular source just like data like so for uh, generally what uh, you know organizations do is they bring the data from multiple sources it can be relational data it can be non-relational data uh, you know they perform some operations on it and then they dump this data into what data lake or you know in now in fabric you have something called one lake so you can dump it there right so this is where pipelines help in and then we have data flows okay so pipeline is just for orchestration wherein you are just uh, you know transporting the data from different sources to a one particular source right this is where pipelines help in wherein data flow is something like you are bringing in the data, you are performing some transformations on top of it and then you are dumping the data. So this is where data flows are uh, required, right? Now again, the, uh, the work which data flows can do, that kind of work can be done in notebooks also, right? So it's up to you, like data flow is very UI, you know, friendly. You can, with the help of UI, you can do the things. Let's say you want to, you are, you know, bringing two different tables from two different data sources and then you want to perform a union operation between them. You can go for data flow, you can create it there and, you know, it is very UI friendly. Again, if you are, a, you know, coder and you want to do some coding, you can definitely go for notebook, right? The, you know, reason we have notebooks is very, very complex operations we can perform in notebook. Whereas if we have, you know, <coughs> day-to-day -day task, easy operations, easy ETL operations, you can perform in data flow, right? So we have these things, data pipeline and data flow. And then coming to data activator, it's very new. Now, uh, let me explain you what is data activator. 
so you have something called reflex right it's in preview mode so basically in uh, data activity what we can do is let's say you have a report and in report you have a KPI okay so that KPI tells uh, month over month revenue let's assume now uh, you know CEO want to see if the month over month revenue is decreased by 10% he should get a mail or if it is increased by let's say 70% he should get a mail so those kind of triggers you can add using data activator so you'll set up triggers that okay if my this particular KPI in this particular report you know exceeds 50% or 20% just send a mail so those kind of operations can be done using data activator earlier you we used to have alerts but that was you know dashboard specific but now we are getting a new different you know feature which is data activator which is very very good right so we'll see we'll see each of them in detail in upcoming videos so don't worry I'm just giving you an overview what a particular technology is used for right and then we have industry uh, you know solutions wherein you have already you know sustainability solutions is there retail is there and healthcare only three are there as of now as of now when I'm making this video only three are av available basically you know if you want to uh, th th these are the solution basically which you can simply deploy over your workspace and you can experience for demo purpose as well as if you are let's say in healthcare industry you can see how the solution is implemented and you can gain the insights and definitely you can replicate those that solution for your organization right now coming to data engineering sections again lake house wherein you will store your data notebooks where you will write the code in Python you can write PySpark and then you know R Azure SQL so you these kind of uh, you know languages you can write your code and you can manipulate your data right and then you have spark job definition so you can define your jobs here data pipeline again for orchestration import notebooks so if you want to import the notebooks you can definitely use this option and so on so this is all about data engineering sections and then comes the data science if you want to create ML models right again if you click on it a notebook kind of setup will come and where you can create your models right so you can write your code and all experiment again notebook is there then environment and you can even import the notebooks so these kind of things are available here so this is the experience for data scientists and then we have data warehouse so what is a data warehouse so basically let's say for any organization uh, you know data is very important uh, you know generally uh, companies create their data warehouse wherein all the information is available at one place in the form of fact and dimensions right uh, so you have mul uh, you have a single or multiple you can have fact tables and then you have the dimension tables for example let's talk about e-commerce in e-commerce uh, you know prices or you can say the sales is the fact table and dimension tables can be product and then you know uh, regions and so on so this is how a warehouse is designed so generally major all the organization have their own warehouse and basically you know using the warehouse you can create reports on top of it and you can you know query the data on top of it right so warehouse can be of three different types star schema snowflake schema and fact console and schema so if we talk about star schema it's like one fact table and multiple dimension table snowflake schema is something like you know one dimension table and top of it you can have another uh, dimensional table as well so i'll also create a you know video on this in a very elaborative way so don't worry about it as of now but yeah this is a data warehouse experience where you can create a warehouse you know again data pipeline and uh, you know data flow is available here you can mirror your azure sql database very good uh, you know option here like you, uh, you know basically let's say you are your company is already using your sql database you can mirror it here so that you know the all the load uh, like obviously you will be creating reports on top of it you will be querying right and so on so the load should not be on the primary server you, what you can do is you can mirror that database and you can use it here right and even you can you know mirror the snowflake database and you can also mirror a cosmos db so all options are available here in data warehouse and then we have the real time uh, you know analytics wherein you know you are getting the data from your sensors or you know some kql databases and so on and then on top of it you want to uh, do some reporting or everything you can do it uh, you can even you know on top of it 
you can you know add git activities for example let's say in a any 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 organization let's say uh, there is a ice cream organization you know selling ice cream so there is a factory and they have res refrigerators which are very smart so the temperature obviously let's say uh, you know the temperature should be maintained at let's say minus 5 degrees celsius now what they will do is so they'll be ha there will be sensors will, they'll get the data from the sensors they'll store it here and then they will be using data activators wherein they'll say okay if the you know temperature uh, decreases to let's say 0 degrees celsius just send a very high alert to this this person so those kind of stuff can also be done now right in power vi so this is all different things now available in power vi uh, apart from it again version control is also available right so we'll see each and everything in depth in the upcoming uh, videos so make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day